Greetings fellow Linux enthusiasts. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the heart of Ultramarine Linux 39, a Fedora spin that proudly carries the title Fedora for everyone. Join me as we explore the intricacies of this feature-rich distribution, designed to cater to a diverse range of users. Ultramarine Linux sets itself apart by curating a customized out-of-the-box experience built on the robust foundation of Fedora Linux. With four distinct desktop flavors, users gain access to the latest Linux advancements, ranging from kernel updates to cutting-edge audio and video technologies. It's a promising blend of innovation and user-friendly design. Let's start with the installation process, a crucial aspect of any Linux distribution. Ultramarine Linux takes a unique approach by offering separate ISO files for each desktop environment. This not only streamlines the installation process, but also keeps the ISO size around a manageable 2 gigabytes. The journey begins with a live medium, presenting users with a friendly pop-up, guiding them seamlessly through the installation using Fedora's reliable Anaconda installer. Now, let's dive into the heart of Ultramarine Linux 39 and explore its captivating desktop flavors. Featuring Linux kernel 6.5, with the anticipation of kernel 6.6 .6 arriving with Fedora 39, each desktop environment offers a distinct experience. The Pantheon Edition, for instance, introduces significant changes, utilizing flat packs of elementary apps by default, addressing various issues. The GNOME edition showcases the latest GNOME 45 release, introducing new workspace icons, styles, and faster search. The Budgie desktop offers a lightning-fast experience with enhanced customization options, and the KDE Plasma edition, despite its customizations, surprises with remarkable speed in our tests. Ultramarine Linux isn't just another Fedora spin, it brings some noteworthy differences to the table. Essential applications like LibreOffice come pre-installed, and a pre-configured Flatpak and Flathub setup eliminates the need for separate configurations. The terminal receives an upgrade with a pre-installed ZSH theme, and for GNOME users extensions are pre-configured, including some cool additions like App Indicator and App Menu. The RPM Fusion repository is a game-changer pre-configured with both free and non-free versions, providing easy access to a plethora of proprietary packages and media codecs. Performance is the heartbeat of any operating system, and Ultramarine Linux 39 doesn't disappoint. Rigorous testing on both virtual machines and physical systems revealed impressive results across all desktop flavors. Notably, the GNOME desktop maintains a modest RAM usage of 1.2 GB during idle states. The overall performance is commendable, making Ultramarine Linux suitable for moderately newer hardware. As you run more applications, the resource consumption increases proportionally, but it remains within reasonable bounds. In our journey through Ultramarine Linux 39, we discover a Fedora spin that effortlessly combines advanced technology with visually appealing desktop environments. The inclusion of key desktops, KDE Plasma, GNOME, Budgie, and Pantheon, alongside the convenience of RPM Fusion, enhances the overall user experience. Despite being somewhat underrated, this distro deserves recognition and support from the passionate Linux community. If you're eager to embark on your own Ultramarine adventure, you can download Ultramarine Linux 39 from their official website. Find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux adventures. Happy computing, and I'll catch you in the next one.